Hi, my name's Amy Godfrey and I'm the Quality Coordinator of Disability Access and Social Inclusion here at the City of Playford. We have a group that meets called the Playford Friends Group. Um, they're a group of adults with intellectual disability who come to our program to make new friends, to uh, learn about what's out and about in their community. Um, and part of that group involves cooking and skill, skill building activities like cooking. The group found that um, recipe books, uh, ordinary recipe books that you pick up off the counter in a shop weren't necessarily accessible for them. There's a lot of written text. Um, and then the other side of things, there's recipe books that are sort of developed for children. And again, that, you know, the pictures part, the pictures format of those recipe books were more appropriate for them, but the language used and the recipes within were more aimed at children. So we thought, well, here's a big gap. Um, why don't we create a cookbook ourselves with the group? We went through the whole process of deciding on which recipes to cook, testing them out, breaking down the recipes into more simple steps, taking photos of each of those steps, and then working through how we could use as little words as possible but tell the step story through pictures so that it was more accessible for everyone. What we found was um, that this not only benefited people with an intellectual disability, but it also benefited older people, people from a culturally and linguistically diverse background, people with low literacy skills, anyone really, even for me, sometimes you read chop finely and you think, well, how finely? And at least when you've got a picture, like it, it really is a lot clearer to tell the story. Because I come to this group, I learn how to cook buttered chicken. Playford Council believes that everyone has a role to play um, in community and has a right to access just like everybody else does um, and that's the same for people with disability. Participants in the Playford Friends Group through the process of making the cookbook now have um, greater skills. They've learnt a lot about um, not only cooking but the whole process of making a cookbook um, promoting that cookbook, the, the sense of pride that they felt in showcasing that they had made this project and that it was available for the whole community. Um, we did some signing sessions outside uh, in Manapara Shopping Centre and just that, that whole experience for them was so exciting. Being the stars of the show, people coming up to get their signatures was just an experience they've never really had before. And then having the ongoing benefits of then having a cookbook that they can take home, they can use to make lunch, dinner, breakfast for their family, um, have friends over for dinner and cook for them and, and not need to have a support worker with them to guide them through that process because they've got this, this resource that they can just use and be independent with. Today I learned how to make pizzas. Just don't be afraid to take small steps forward. If you're not sure, ask the experts, ask people with disability. They're the ones that live life in our community every day. Um, sometimes people can get caught up in being afraid to ask, being afraid to speak about disability because um, you, you know, you're not sure if you're going to get the words right. Just, just start the process, go and speak to someone with a dis disability to ask how, how they want um, supports to be provided, how they want, how, you know, how they best access programs, what are the barriers for them so that you can turn that around and then um, create that into an opportunity to become more inclusive.